So we just read about the dot and learned about Vashti making art by making just a dot. And then he made lots of dots all over the place. So we're gonna make our own dot art like these two. You get to make two. This one, the dot is filled in. It's one big dot filled with small dots. Um, when we do something like this in the middle of our paper, that's called the positive space of our paper. And then we've left this white on this one and we've filled the space surrounding the picture or the dot in this case, that's called the negative space. So positive, negative, okay? And we're gonna do both. So on the positive one, what we're going to do, let me get my piece of paper here, is I'm gonna give you a circle tracer that looks like this. It's a little messy. We're gonna lay it in the middle of our paper. We're gonna hold it with one hand, hold it as still as we can and trace around it. I have to go under my hand and then lift it up and finish it. And there's my circle or my big giant dot. Next, I'm gonna give you some bingo daughters. Now, normally these are used to play bingo um, and they look like this. I've got a purple one here or violet. We're gonna twist the lid off and your, your bingo dauber might look different from this one. They're not all the same, but they all work the same. So you don't need to really squeeze it really hard, but you can squeeze it a little bit. And the end is where the, the uh, ink is going to come out or the paint. And it's shaped like a dot, so it's perfect. So we're gonna press that down on our paper and print some dots, just like a stamp. Okay, I, that's all the purple I want. So I'm gonna see if I can fill up the rest. I'm, I'm gonna change colors. We're gonna do a little bit of pink here. And we're just gonna do that until we fill up the whole entire space with dots. And the, the dots can touch each other. That's called overlapping. And um, yeah, they can be on. This one's a little torn up on the top. If we find one like that, we can still use it. It just may not work as good as the others. This one yeah, works pretty good. We're gonna try to fill in all the white space that's left with our dots. And I have lots of colors and obviously we're gonna have to share them since I don't have enough for everyone to have a whole pack. We're gonna to have to share them with one another. Let me fill in some of my white spaces. So that's pretty full. I'm gonna stop with that one. Next, I've gotta do my negative dot. And this is wet like paint. So when you're finished, you're gonna carry that to the drying rack in our room. And I will show you where that is. I'm gonna get out my other paper, my second paper. And I'm gonna lay my big dot on there again. And I can leave it laying there. I don't even have to trace it. And this time, I'm gonna do dots all around it. Let me get my, my daughter going here. If the ink won't come out at first, like Miss Brooks was having trouble with just then, um, you can shake the, the daughter, just make sure your lid is on when you shake it, okay? Now I'm gonna keep my circle in the middle because I don't want to put any dots in there. Remember, we're only doing the negative space. Let me shake this one up again. You might have to squeeze a little bit. Remember, don't squeeze too hard. And don't bang these on the paper. There's no need for that. They shouldn't be making a big loud noise. Miss Brooks is just tapping a little bit. And we're gonna see if we can keep going here. Let me shake this one up again. They've been sitting for a while, so they may not be working right away. And if you need to test it on the paper we've got on the table, this white paper that Miss Brooks is gonna put down, if you need to test it on that, that's completely fine. 
These dots can go all the way. I want you to make them go all the way to the edge of the paper. And we're gonna try to fill up all that extra space as much as we can. All right. I'm trying to use all the colors that Miss Brooks has, has got so you guys can see what's in the, in the box and see if your some of your favorite colors might be in there. And we're gonna see if we can fill up some of these white spaces that are left. And I want you to fill it up all the way out to the edge. Miss Brooks keeps bumping the camera, sorry about that. And I believe we've used all the colors except for brown. If you don't like brown, that's okay. I'm just gonna put a little bit of brown here and there in some of my empty spots. But I do have a brown one if you want to use it. There's no black. All right, I think I'm finished. Let's lift that circle up and see what we've got. Ta-da! A big white dot in the middle. And we filled all our space around. So there's my two dots, my positive and my negative. 